just completed the third version of my practice Kio with the Arduino Nan Nano. Um, this here is my second version. The first version was just on a breadboard to try it out. This one here, um, I really had a hard time getting everything into the prototype boarding because the pinouts of those connectors were different. So I was getting a little bit creative, but I wanted to build another one. And I noticed that the 3.5 millimeter jack now actually fits on the prototyping board because it's a nice cheap jack, unlike the other one that came from Radio Jack. Uh, the big uh, six and um, I forgot what millimeters, it's quarter inch jack in standard. That one again does not fit on the prototype, so instead I bent over those pins in the center and just looped around and soldered them onto the bag. Um, how the whole board is laid out, it's probably better to look at the documentation instead of the video that I have here. So I'm going to try to write up a nice document that shows that and helps you build one as well with just the strip boards or some other prototyping board. Um, yeah, so it's very simple. You have the Arduino up here. I have down there the two small capacitors, ceramic capacitors. They are there for um, just taking the edge off from the key. Uh, the big electrolyte capacitor is to prevent any reprogramming while the Arduino Nano is uh, inserted. If you want to reprogram it, you just pull it out and you can reprogram that. Um, yeah, let's go have some fun here. Um, again, the code from the Ar Arduino Nano is from K3NG and he has that on his GitHub page. And just to give credits, I started off on the hardware from the files of the Nano Kio. That's a Kio that you can purchase. And I just looked at the circuits there. That's actually how I first got to it. Um, you also can find circuits on the N3NG, uh, sorry, K3NG GitHub side. So, okay, to start up the Arduino, all what we do is we take the mini USB cable and plug it in right here. Um, Of course, I can't do it with one hand, so let's pause this. Okay, once it's plugged in, the Arduino Nano is being powered by the computer, so you don't need any external power. If you start it up, you hear a little bit of Morse code. And once you know enough Morse code, you learn that that means hi. Uh, the other thing that obviously you need to plug in is the key right here on the big jack. So let me do that. And once you have that hooked up, you're ready to go and key around. So that is kind of boring still. The interesting part comes in when you put in a uh, start up your serial console. Uh, I use putty, but you really could use anything you want to. And at this point, probably screen sharing would be better, but I'm lazy. So I just start connecting. So when the Kia starts up, it says hi on the terminal by displaying this uh, message right here that it's the K3NG Kia. And it also gives you a hint on how to get more help. So if you do the backslash and a question mark, you get a list of commands that you can run via the serial console. And as you notice, all the commands are starting with a backslash. 
yeah, interesting ones that you want to explore is um, that you can set the backslash f the side tone frequency so if you want it the frequency to be higher or lower you can adjust it right there um, obviously the iambics you can change on what kind of pedals you have uh, the other interesting part was the words per minute um, right here it's a w and what you really should use is the slash s that's the status report and if you do the backslash s that will tell you all the details of the settings that are currently being used so here you see i have it set at 20 words per minute and 600 hertz so now the cool part comes that if i start sending with my key you can see it right on the screen if i send it correctly and if i do it errors so like right here you see that me sending the my call sign i screwed up on the zero as usual another thing if you don't put in a backslash and you just start keying on the keyboard it will send it through the key as well so if you wanted to hear like hey what does an x sound like you just press an x and you can hear it probably there would be some cool opportunities to write some programs that just send out strings to the terminal using the serial console uh, for practicing or something else um, I know that the K3NG software has a lot of other features the one problem including even training if you look at the documentation again sorry for no screen sharing but um, where was that features no. Oh, right, right down here yeah so it has a lot of features including a training module right here but the training module is so large you don't fit it on an Arduino Nano you need an Arduino Mega and so far I haven't had one and I haven't played with it but really what I wanted is just a simple uh, key in order to see whether I key the correct letters or not when I start learning and so far I think it has helped me maybe my instructor is gonna tell me otherwise but um, it's nice to have a direct feedback on whether I key something wrong and if I mess up my zeros again oh, uh, another thing that I didn't mention is these two pins right here allow me to power it externally as well so you can not put as much load on the USB connector which you don't need to worry about it unless you may run like a, use your phone or you can use this whole key without a computer which is kind of nice as well here we have the Arduino key set up with the external battery so we don't have to hook it up onto a computer just plug it in your key and you can practice what you don't get obviously is the screen output of what you're transmitting. And you still could use the external speaker if you wanted to. And here we have the Kia set up as an external speaker on the small 3.5 millimeter stereo jack. And it supports both speakers on the stereo, but it's really just mono. And having the powered speakers really gives it a nicer sound and more volume to it you can get really crazy by hooking up a phone instead of a computer to the Kia and you're very portable and you can see then which what you're transmitting And you see all your errors as well 
and just like on the computer you can go ahead and start typing stuff in the keyboard and it plays for you.